My name is Wayne Phillips and I'm the General Manager of Dolphin Adventure. I have one of the most amazing jobs in the world. I get the opportunity to work not only with whales, dolphins and sea lions, but I get to make everybody's dreams come true. People who dream about swimming with dolphins come to us each year and we fulfill those dreams. I really appreciate the opportunity to work with these animals and I see them as ambassadors for their wild cousins. Here at Dolphin Adventure, we use our dolphins to educate people, not only about the plight of dolphins, whales and sea lions, but also about the plight of the environment. These animals act as ambassadors, and we respect them as such. Hi guys, welcome to Dolphin Adventure. My name is Ricardo, I'm a dolphin trainer. I've been doing this for my last nine years. I think this is the best job in the world. I want to invite you to walk in through this fantastic adventure. Let's go. Welcome guys, this is the fish house, right here is one of the most important parts of this facility because right here is where we prepare the meat of the dolphins. Each one of these dolphins, they have their own diet. For example, right here we have one of these uh, diets, this is herring, this is only fat. Well, it's protein, but it's only fat, and this is capelin. It's a kind of sardine from Alaska and Canada, and they are absorb a lot of liquid from this kind of fish. And right here we have, for some of these dolphins, this is like a chocolate for them. This is calamares. Very good calamares, by the way. So, you see, each one of these different kind of fish, they have different kind of nutrients for them. Swimming out to sea one day All the other lady dolphins smile But they were smiling in that subtle dolphin way So these kind of interactions are very, very important Because we teach people just a little bit about them And of course they can interact with them, they have a great time And they're learning a lot and a lot And obviously behind this kind of interaction problem is a lot of message we teach them something about dolphins and also respect them. We are right here in the pool and this is my friend Due. Due is the alpha male in this company. Due, can you say hello to them? Yeah! Alright, for doing this guys, we use a lot and a lot of positive reinforcement. It's very, very easy and very simple. For example, I'm gonna ask Due to hit roll over. Hey buddy, can you roll over? There you go. All right, now he roll over. Hey Due, can you clap? Yeah. All right, so you see, it's very easy. They follow hand signals. They never ever follow voice command. Do you follow voice commands? No. All right, he says no. <laughs> All right, they follow just hand signals, and of course, we use a lot of different reinforcement. For example, we use a primary reinforcement. This is the primary reinforce, right here, and obviously, we use a secondary reinforce. I'm going to show you one of the secondary reinforce, and they love this. All right, it is coming. Yeah. 
All right, good job. Yeah, good boy. Yes. What about this little brush? Yeah. All right. Good boy. See, that's the secondary room for just love and affection. We use this kind of whistles, we call this bridge. Bridge in between dolphin and trainer. And my bridge means, good job. We're gonna do something very, very important. This is a medical behavior. So check this out. Do it. He have to be in a in a really good position. He's paying attention to me. I'm gonna ask him for this. He's present his tail. I'm gonna keep this cell right here on my legs. What I'm gonna do in here, what I'm gonna do here is to clean this area. All right. He feel comfortable with me here right now. He's been cooperative, yes. And now in this moment, I can clean this area very well and then I can find the vein. So if you try to follow my, this, my finger right here, the shape, right here, it's a vein. I know it's difficult guys, but right here is a vein. And uh, here's another one. So we recognize, this, we recognize this area, where is the vein, and then we put the nail in, and we can take in a blood test. This is very important. This kind of medical behaviors, they are so important because they cooperate with us to doing this, and with these behaviors, we know how healthy they are, we know how many fat they need, how many protein they need, and we make their specific balanced diet. There you go, good boy.